Welcome back. Today I'm just chilling on the couch. I got a new reading chair. I'm just going to be talking to you guys about my favorite movie at the moment, which is called Patterson. Why are you talking about your favorite movie? Why does it matter? I saw this movie three months ago, right before the third semester started, so right at the beginning of January. And ever since I've watched it, my perspective on things have completely changed. And I just want to share that because it's been nothing but positive for me and it's just a movie like it's a movie that made me feel this way and impacted my life in such a strong way so i feel like it's just a good thing to share and while i'm talking about it you get to learn a little bit more about me um i have a couple of people that have reached out and just expressed to me that they really love um what i'm sharing and they would like to know a little bit more about me so that is that is what this is um i also am obsessed with patterson and will take any 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 time to talk about patterson so what is Patterson about? It's about a man who drives a bus in New Jersey, Monday through Friday. Uh, he goes to the bar after work and he has a wife who is very creative. She wants to make art. She wants to be a fashion designer. She wants to play guitar. She wants to bake. She wants to be a cook and bake. So she has all these different aspirations. And so I went in watching this because I love Adam Driver and I. I have Adam Driver, Adam Driver fever, which many have. So I had this condition and I said, oh my God, any movie that I can watch with Adam Driver, let me watch it. So I went into Patterson kind of just looking for Adam Driver and I found inner peace. So um, as this movie goes on, um, it's a man that goes Monday through Friday, beginning at the end of the day, and he writes poetry in his spare time. He writes poetry about the Max boxes. He makes a metaphor for his relationship. Um, he writes um, just all kinds of different poetry about moving through time, how he moves through the day, how he takes in his life. And basically, long story short, when I saw this movie, like a review says, I'll link all the reviews that are pretty good without spoilers, so you can find out the big message if you don't have time to watch a movie or do not want to watch a movie but want a little inspiration. One of the movies points out that this is a very, very boring movie, but it makes me very happy. And another video pointed out that most people watch movies to escape their daily life. But while I was watching Patterson, I was faced with my daily life in a good way. This man, working his 9-to-5 job, has found peace. He has found peace in looking for what is poetic in the world, what is beautiful in the world. He listens to people talking on the bus and he takes in that conversation and he just seems very present, like present in his life at all times. He um, he goes to the bar every night and he's very present in that moment. He, he takes time to look at the drink at the bottom, bottom of the cup. Um, he talks to a girl one day, a young girl who's writing poetry, and, and this moment is very profound to him because he is a poet, and, and she's able to tell that just by looking at him, and they have this beautiful conversation. And basically, when I watched it, I said, let me reevaluate. Right now, I'm stressed. I don't want to go back to work, and I am focusing on the negative, long story short. Um, not to say that it's just easy, quick, like think positive. That's not what I'm saying. However, my perspective and what I was looking for was faced towards the negative. And I started saying, wow, I work with kids every day. I get these experiences of listening to what's in the minds of kids every single day, just like he had at this moment with the little girl who wrote poetry. I said, I'm, a, I'm doing a poetry unit. I get to hear kids' creativity and kids, kids' poems all day. How am I not excited about that? That's, I love kids and I love poetry. And it was because I was focusing on the negative. I was focusing on how stressful it is, how it was going to be so much planning. So I watched this film and it reminded me of when I was a child, before I had a job, before I was like 17, before I started working in school and hecticness. I could go and sit at the park and um, it could be an evening and there'd be little bugs flying and I'd see that in the shadow and I'd feel very calm, very peaceful, very ready to tackle whatever it is that life gave me. And I realized when I was watching Patterson, wow, I've really lost that part of me that exists, that part of me that looks for poems, looks for poetic things in life, stops to take in the moment, stops to sit at the park and watch the sunset. All of the things I got just put on the back burner. I stopped doing them. When I went to college, I don't remember how many times I, I stopped and reflected on where I was at or what I was doing or how I was enjoying things. I was so goal focused, which goals are amazing and you should have goals. 
However, there's a lot of beauty in stopping in and taking that time. I really love how Patterson in the movie, he goes to this waterfall and he just sits there. And I saw this funny tweet that said, um, that said, I understand why old people just go and sit. And that's kind of what I found in Patterson. Um, I was like, I understand now why I should just go and sit. So I've been going to the park and just sitting and taking in that I'm alive, that I'm in this place, that I'm healthy, that I get to work with kids, that we're going to be talking about poetry, that there is ever so much beauty all around me, all of the time. And ever since I've been focusing more on that, I just feel constantly inspired. Like that's why so many people are like, how are you making videos all the time? And it's because there's, I've just, programmed like I've been trying so hard and it's not easy um, and a lot of people you know they need extra help like their, their their biological system need help trying to focus on the good and I understand that um, however for me a lot of it was just my mindset and changing it to view even the things that stress me out even moments that are awful and I want to cry and days that leave me broken I just think how how could this be viewed as something beautiful or a poem or, or something lovely or how can I change this to even be the sad chapter in my life that makes somebody else cry but they learn from it. Um, just constantly reevaluating how I'm viewing things and it is definitely not easy. However, movies for me, like I, I think, not gonna lie, back in the day before I had social media, like I'd say 10th grade and before, I find this piece through reading. I would read a book and I would feel that. I, I, I would read an entire book, 300 pages, and I'd say, wow, I was present, I was focused, there's writing around us, everything is an opportunity to write, everything is an opportunity to, to think and create and contemplate. However, when I got older and when I got a job and when I got social media, not gonna lie, reading really became on the back burner and I've talked to a lot of people and they feel the same way. So to find a film that only takes two hours to watch but leaves you with the, the satisfaction of reading a book, it inspires you, one, by having you change your mindset and feeling present and peaceful, but also it inspires you to read books again. So since I have watched Patterson, I have also started reading and writing poetry more. So. For me, I mean, a lot of people think, oh, movies, gross, pop culture, what? and they look kind of down on it, but I just see it as a beautiful way to transform that same feeling on screen. And I actually try to make my videos very close to Patterson's that when you watch it, you hopefully feel grateful for whatever it is around you and know that if you want to make videos or if you want to sing or if you want to dance or if you just want to sit at the park and enjoy the sounds around you that hopefully you feel inspired to do so, just like I felt inspired to write more poetry and, and view life as something a lot more beautiful than I had before after I watched the movie. Um, just some other things that I like in it. I love the montages of the city because as I have montages on here, that's just how I view my life. I swear, you know, that my life is a movie and everyone says like my life is a movie, um, blah, 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 and they like make memes out of it. That is 100% me. That's how I view my YouTube. I'm like, my life is a movie and it's on YouTube. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, the montages in Patterson. So that's just another reason I like it. I feel like if it's, it's a movie that makes you feel like you could create it. I feel like I could m not make a movie because it's an amazing movie and not to diminish like the editing and the directing and all the things that go into it. However, a lot of the shots were city montages or him in a bar or him looking at his Cheerios and just things that I see in my everyday life. So seeing that on the screen and seeing it presented as something beautiful and content, it reminded me, wow, my life is a movie and it's Patterson and Patterson's beautiful. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't even think I talked about it. Oh, the girlfriend. <sighs> I love her. I love her because she's not afraid to just go what, whatever her heart says. One day she wants to play guitar, boom, she gets a guitar. One day she wants to bake, she starts baking. That inspired me, like when I started thinking, should I make singing videos? I was like, I should. Should I Should I um, do this kind of video? I should, because what it, 
what's holding me back. I want to get started on whatever it is that is inspiring me. I also, one thing that I really, really loved in Patterson is the entire time I was waiting for something bad to happen. I was like, is he going to get on the bus? Is the bus going to blow up? Is his wife going to get mad at him for going to the bar? Is he going to get mad at her for not working? Like I was just coming up with all these problems in my head and none of them happened. And that really reminds me of my own life. I will spend so much time worrying about this. Is this going to happen? Who's going to be upset? Nine out of 10 times, it does not happen. So I also reflected, I said, how much am I worrying about that I don't need to be worrying about? And I got that huge question from watching a movie, which I just love. I love Patterson. That's why I'm making a whole 10 minute video about it. Um, so yes, I feel like ever since that I've started viewing my life as just opportunities to find poetry and to find art and to find inspiration, it's so much easier for me to get through the days. I used to be very focus gold, uh, focus goals, focus on goals. And I love goals and I think they are important. But what's providing me contentness and what's providing me happiness in my life and acceptance of the day um, and acceptance of where I am and where I'm going is to just stop and appreciate the world around me and think about just uh, think about Patterson. <laughs> so, so I hope that you had fun listening to me rant about Patterson. If you ever want me to rant about another movie, I could rant about her. I could rant about Big Fish. I could write about, I could rant about The Invisible Man that I just saw. Oh, it was so good. Oh my God. Just kidding. I know he's not here. I was like, <laughs> gotta check that The Invisible Man's not there. Uh, so yes, if you would let me, like me to do just another talking video about a movie, my thoughts on it. I would love to do that. So please let me know if that's something that you would like to watch. And if you haven't watched Patterson, I don't know. I recommend that you should. I think it's $3.99 on YouTube. Um, it's two hours. And I know you're thinking, I could not watch a slow movie two hours about this bus driver hanging out with his wife and going to work. However, it provided me an insane, insane amount of peace. So maybe it will for you too. However, I am biased. If it's an action movie, I'm sleeping within minutes. If it's a movie like Calm Bear Name, her slow, beautiful scenery, ugh, I just take that in. So I hope that you had fun. I'm also gonna make a singing video probably in the same spot. So enjoy. Have a good one. Please sub. Have a good weekend. Have a good life. Bye.